At any moment, state health officials are expected to release the weekly update on respiratory viruses like the flu, RSV, and COVID. Yeah, there's been a slight decrease in recent, in recent weeks, but will that trend continue? Tamara Scott, live in Raleigh as we await the new numbers. Tamara. Hey, good afternoon, Joel and Amber. Yeah, we are expected to get these new numbers from the North Carolina Health Department on the state of the respiratory illnesses that are impacting our state right now. And what we've seen lately is a decrease in those numbers. So we're going to be seeing if that's going to be a continuous trend here. Now, this is what they do every week. The state health department releasing these new numbers. We'll get it a little closer as we are reaching lunchtime. And in, in the last weeks, the reports data show that fewer emergency department visits for things like the flu and RS. SV. And although North Carolina's flu death toll stands right now at 246, it's including at least 10 children. Now we have seen some reported low numbers at our area hospitals. For instance, Duke Health reported 30 COVID-19 hospitalizations compared to 45 last month. Wake Med reported 63 COVID-19 hospitalizations, the highest out of the three hospitals, but still down from 67 last month. And UNC Health reported 33 COVID-19 hospitalizations. And I did talk with a UNC Health PD pediatrician doctor earlier this morning. He told me that these numbers looking low is what they wanted to see, especially after what they experienced last year. This year, they all peaked, but they all kind of peaked in, at different phases, although uh, we still had capacity concerns both at UNC Medical Center and our, our um, partners across the state. Um, but yeah, I would say this season is more reminiscent of prior seasons. Um, but yeah, we still have bad memories from from last year for sure. Now he told me if those numbers do continue to trend down, that doesn't mean you can just relax. You still need to make sure you're doing your precautions, washing your hands, covering your mouth. If your child has a fever, then you need to make sure you keep them home from school until they're feeling a little better. But we'll keep you guys updated as soon as those numbers come down. Joel, Amber.